You seriously want to get married? Hell yes. You want to marry me? Hell no. But that's how it worked out, now, didn't it? What's your problem? This is... This is sick! No, sorry. Sleeping with you in the first place, that's sick. A grown woman thinking that she's 17 and going back to high school, that's sick. Make me. The role of Jack Manning is now being played by Andrew Trichetta. Jack, why aren't you in school? I took him in a health morning. Is that allowed? For our family, it's mandatory. <gasps> You seen your sister? Well, stars in there. Where's Langston? No, I meant Danny. Nope. Maybe she got kidnapped again. You should really keep an eye on that girl. I really should do something about that, that uh, kid's mouth. Not now. Right now, we have to find Danny. Okay, say you're right and Tess is in charge of Jessica. What would she want with Ford? I don't know. So, what do we do? Call the police? Langston, having DID is not illegal. It's not like she's committed a crime. Yeah, that we know of. What we need to do is find someone who understands and who can help. Like who? I think Jessica. Hiding a rockin' body like this? Now that's sick. Okay, can we cool it with what's sick? I'm just saying. There could be worse things. So, uh, man up. Cause soon you and I are gonna be husband and wife. And we're gonna live happily ever after. again with that face or is it just stuck that way this is a bad idea Tess the more I think about it the more that's I feel like your problem wrong. stop thinking you don't have the equipment excuse me excuse you you see a lot of your blood flows south of your belt buckle huh. I'm doing the thinking for both of us don't worry that's not very comforting oh come on I've had nothing but time to work this whole thing out what while you've been away or whatever there you go you got it but don't strain yourself, okay? And don't worry, all I'm gonna do is remember two words. I do. You really think that's all it's gonna take? Yes, I do. As soon as we get married, we'll have everything that we want. And no one's gonna stop us. Uh, Brody, it's very pot. Let's, let's hope we're that lucky. My Aunt Vicky had DID too. She would know exactly what to do. Okay, perfect, I'll drive. Okay, um, I'll ask my mom to watch Hope and- Where is she? What? What are you talking about? No, you're hiding her. Who? Don't play dumb hey, with me! Relax, what, Todd! She doesn't know. I knew it. You're stuck. Looks that way. Well, I think it was a sign if we weren't already taken. Christian. May I? Danny, get out of here! Now! It's not here, Todd. Right here. Don't break the door! You better stay Why's here and talk with him. Will you go to my Aunt Vicky's? I'll go. Don't okay, worry. Okay, just it. tell her what we think. Okay. You're uh, here and Vicky in on this too? In on what? Hiding your sister. Where is she? Tell me where she is. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay. If we do this. If? I'm considering it. You got on a plane. We booked a chapel. <laughs> the decision's been made, stud. I can unmake it. Y you could. Now you just kiss Ryder goodbye. Oh wait, scratch that because you won't even get close enough to the brat to kiss him. You don't know that. Oh my God. Okay, Ford, let me explain this to you one more time. Vicky and Clint and Brody are gonna do anything possible to keep him away from you. Mm-hmm. And you think that's gonna change because of some quickie wedding? Absolutely, it's a total game changer. You will get your kid, I will have my freedom, and we will both have a ton of cash. They're gonna come after us. Absolutely. They're gonna be furious. Absolutely they're gonna be furious. They're gonna have every nun at St. Anne's waiting for me in a straitjacket. But here's the deal. Vicky and Clint, they're gonna lose because they do not have the authority to sign me in. My medical decisions can only be made by my husband. And wait, pay attention now. That's you. So they can't touch me. It's a perfect plan. I've called Dr. Levin. See you, Mr. Great Party. Next time, ring star. I don't know about that. Hey, I'm totally fine with it. I thought you two were getting together. We didn't. I mean, there was this, this big thing with my brother and her sister and her dad and... 
And there's no way you want to hear about I'm just gonna go. Hey! Hey, you're you're telling a friend. I thought that's what we agreed on, right? Friends? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Okay, good. So, what happened? Well, it is a long story, but in the end, Star's dad turns out to be a total and complete psycho. You don't think this is serious? You tell me where she I is. I didn't even know she was gone. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, sometime last night. I'm really worried. I'm sorry. I honestly don't know where she is. Oh, but you'd tell me if you did, huh? No, I'd tell Taya. You see, she helped Danny run away before. Not this time. Okay, well, I believe you. Maybe there's something you can tell us that'll give us a clue. You were there last night when Todd spoke to Nate, right? Spoke? Yeah. This is a waste of time. No, 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 no. I want to hear the uncensored version. Why? So I can be the bad guy? Listen, I stopped our underage daughter from having sex. I and mean, look what happened to this one. You have any more? All right, yeah, take the picture from yesterday's banner that's recent. Call me if there's any sighting. Hey, Brody, uh, is Mrs. Banks here? No, she's not. Is Jessica around? What's this about? I just really need to talk to Mrs. Banks. Uh, will she be back soon? I really don't know. Okay, I'll just wait. Langston, we're in the middle of something right now, so if this isn't urgent... Okay, if... this is about the wedding and the baby. Did your boyfriend put you up to this? What? I can't believe Ford would send you here to please. No, 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 he didn't. Ford doesn't even know I'm here. You tell him. You tell him he is not getting anywhere near right Okay, there. I don't know where Ford is. Then what are you doing here? Thanks, I don't have I time for this. I think I saw him with Jessica. Okay, so everything works out. For you. So pretty good for you too, Ford. Uh-huh. Keeping you out of the hospital? Your family's gonna love me. Who cares? You'll have your kid. That's all you really want. They're still gonna fight me. And you'll win. You're his father. I'm his mother. We'll be married. And P.S. We'll have a ton of cash. You don't, you don't think they're gonna cut that off? Trust is to be controlled by the minor's parents, you and me. <laughs> Effective immediately after their wedding in February. So unless you want to sit around here till March, we'll be just in time. Is that what you're going to wear? What? To our wedding. Is that what you're going to wear? It's all I have. Well, then let's get a move on. I want to get a ring on my finger before the Buchanans get a clue. And the sooner we get married, the sooner we can start spending Daddy Clint's money. So you see... Great, Dad. Now I wish I was hiding Danny. Oh, you know what I meant. <sighs> you said so last night. Because of Cole, you did things you wish you had. No, I said it was because of you. Oh, but you did them with Cole. And that gives you the right to beat him up and now to freak out at Nate? You said it was a reasonable conversation. After he went after oh, him. I knew it! didn't beat him up. You didn't. You threw him against the wall and said that you were going to have him arrested for rape. <sighs> Statutory rape. Que idiota, pero por supuesto que nuestra hija se fue de tu casa. Lo siento. This isn't funny! I knew you didn't tell me the truth. No wonder Daniela left. Well, why are you surprised? Well, because I thought that she would respect her father's wishes. She probably went to Nate's. Did you check Nate's? Mom? Yes, we checked Nate's and Robert Ford's, and no one was there. Maybe they just didn't answer. No, no. Star, the super let us in. Yeah, not everyone's so cavalier about this. The, the super let us in. No one was there. There's no trace that anyone you know was there. My money's on your buddy James. He's the one that came up with the plan the last time that Danny ran away. Am I right? Dad, no, he doesn't no, have anything. Okay, no, he probably call, doesn't even know that call, this happened. I want happened. you to call James Star, and find Star, out what he knows please, right now. We, please, we just need to know Danny's all right. Please. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry you and Star for hitting the wall. Yeah, but that's how it is. Are you giving up? I don't know what to do. If you want my two cents, you keep trying. Oh, oh, sorry. Star. Well, aren't you gonna answer it? You okay, this plan makes some sense. See? Did that hurt? But you've forgotten one thing. You, me, no nut house, a bunch of moves. Langston! Who? I oh, God, your little girlfriend. She's not little. Excuse me, you're very young, but I'm sure mature friend. Okay, I'm just going to call her and I'm going to explain. God, will you quit it? If you try that again, I am throwing this in the pool. You still haven't told me. What is it you plan on telling her? She has to know that this is just an arrangement. 
Trust me, there will be no doubt. So why can't I tell her now? Because there's no time, Ford. And what if she tells the Buchanans? They'll be on the first plane out here. Okay, all right. This has to look real, right? We have to make this look real. We've gotta make it look good, yeah. Okay, that's gonna be hard for Langston. Oh, jeez. I will swear to her that I won't touch you, okay? And I promise you, you won't touch me. I get it. I don't want you. I want a real man. Like Brody? <sighs> Jessica's knuckle dragger? No, thank you. You've seen Jessica? Maybe. Where? Outside of Capricorn last night with Ford. But like I said, I'm not sure. No, just tell me what happened. Well, Ford and I were supposed to have dinner at Capricorn. He didn't show, but then when he finally called, I didn't have any signal. So I went outside to talk to him, and I saw him leaving with some blonde girl in a white dress. And you think that was Jessica? Well, I didn't at first, because she looked kind of trashy. No offense. But she was, she, was in, she was in a dress, like a wedding dress. Well, yeah, but it was a mini dress. I mean, I didn't even think it could be Jessica until I talked to Star this morning. And she told me all about the wedding and the baby and reminded me about Jessica's illness. You know, how it could be Jessica, but not... It's Tess. You knew? Not until a few hours ago. But it's true? Jessica's turned into Tess again? We're not sure, but you saw her leave with Ford? Yeah, she was all over him. Sorry. Don't be. This is our first real lead all day. We can track for it, and that'll lead us to Tess. Sorry, I'm not in for roid rage. Uh, this is all natural. You want to see? Ugh, no thank you. Oh, barf. What, did I hurt your feelings? Uh, it's just that this is getting a little old. And for the record, I've never had any complaints. Oh, I'm sure the little girls that you hang out with think they've died and gone to heaven. But then again, they don't know the difference between good sex and bad sex, now do they? You'd be surprised. I'm sure you keep Langston very satisfied. She is, but it's not just the sex. So you keep on saying. It's the truth. So what is it about you, Ford? Is it your sparkling conversation that keeps her entertained and satisfied? What Langston and I have is real. Real what? We exist out here in the real world. What do you get, Tess? Except a little corner of Jessica's mind. What else do you have? I have your son. I'm the only one that can give you your baby. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. Well, you need me to either change your attitude or the winning's off.